Hey, hi, hello, it's Casey, and today we're renting boats to drive around Seven Seas Lagoon at Disney World. That's the Grand Floridian, that's Magic Kingdom. Let's go check it out. So today we're at Disney's Contemporary Resort to be renting the pontoon boats and ride them around Disney World. How cool is that? It's $45 for 30 minutes or $90 for 60 minutes. And you get on the pontoon boat, you can ride it around all the different lakes. We'll show you all those later. These are the prices for the different marina recreation activities where you can rent the different boats. Today we're gonna to be doing the Sun Tracker pontoon boats. So you come down to the boat nook. It opens at 11 o'clock. It's open from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day. You reserve your pontoon boat and then you head right over here and they're gonna load you onto one of the many pontoon boats over there and then you can drive them around Disney World. This is a first come first serve activity. You cannot make prior reservations before you get to the resort. So do get here early because they do fill up quickly. So we were sitting here playing pool, killing time. Um, it's 11.03 now and it just opened. So let's go rent our boat. Thank you. Uh oh. Oh. So we're out on the open water now. They gave us a bunch of safety precautions, safety procedures, all that fun stuff. They showed us a map. I'll put it on the screen right now. And this is where you can and can't go. The red areas are where you cannot go. The green areas are where there's little islands or land. And the blue areas are everywhere you can go. But if you look out here, this very expansive lake is our oyster. Matt was too scared to back it out of the That's dock. That's not true. <laughs> yes, it was K true. Casey said, let me do it. Come on. No. The, the guy was laughing at me. So I'm glad that Matt saved himself from embarrassment, but I had to be the one to do that. Look at these magical views of trees. Bay Lake over there. So you do have to be 18 years or older to drive the vehicle, but you can have other passengers in the vehicle with you as well. And they said that if you head towards the ferry boats or the smaller vessels that take you from the resorts to Magic Kingdom, you do have to put your boat in neutral and slow down so that you don't go in their weight. He also said it only goes five miles per hour. Yeah, that's what they're capped at. And it is actually five miles an hour. <laughs> that's as fast as it goes. So there's no time limit. You can take it out all day if you want, but you will be paying for the time you take it out for. This is cool. There is a radio here as well. He said you can connect it to Bluetooth. You can play your own music. You can be jamming. You can be like happily ever after. Just like that, but like better. Hopefully better. <laughs> There's a red safety clip that they gave us and they said to connect that to your pants or to your wrist so that if you fall, the motor will stop. I'm pretty sure this is Fort Wilderness up ahead. So this island over to your right is Discovery Island. We're gonna try to connect music. We got what? it to work! What is this music? I clicked on strolling through the park music. Right ahead we got Fort Wilderness and they just took a whole boat full of people over to Magic Kingdom as you can see. We just had to slow down because there's a boat going by right in front of us. We're definitely taking extra precaution by stopping this soon, but I'd rather just not cause a ruckus, you know? <laughs> I could probably go, but. There is a boat coming by, so we're stopping because they told us to go in neutral. They also said to stay two boats lengths away from the island because there's a big seaweed problem right now. We're coming up on Wilderness Lodge. What's cool is after Wilderness Lodge, you're gonna go through this little channel and this channel is what connects Bay Lake to Seven Seas Lagoon. And what's cool is if you drive near the Contemporary, you actually drive under the water. Very much Little Mermaid with the under the sea theme. <laughs> under the water, under the water, there you go. under the water. But yeah, that's gonna connect us to Seven Seas Lagoon. We can check out all the resorts over there. But look at this, we got the moon in the sky, Contemporary, Wilderness Lodge. Pretty nice. And here's the other side of Discovery Island. There's Bay Lake and Contemporary where we started. And then over to our left is Fort Wilderness. I do wish this went like 50 miles an hour. I'd be like, skirt, skirt. 
And that's why it doesn't, because people like you. Well, it's just more so like, you don't realize how slow five miles an hour is until you do it. I could walk on water faster than this. Jesus. <laughs> I will say it's a little interesting looking at the, uh, the map they give you. It seems like there's a lot of breathing room here. And maybe because this is my first real time as an adult driving a boat, but it's pretty close to where people dock to go to Magic Kingdom. Should we pick some people up? Make yeah. their ride a little easier? <laughs> Drop them off at Magic Kingdom? Yeah. Don't do that, that's not allowed. <laughs> Dang. This part's gonna be really cool though. Like, You could see cars off in the distance and they just go down into a tunnel. We've never seen a wild car before. Let's go check it out. <laughs> I wonder if we'll see a gator. <gasps> I hope not. This is where you wait to take the boat over to Magic Kingdom. There's another ferry coming. So we're gonna go really slow. Look at the cabins too. The cabins have the best view. This is so cool. We're literally on the main waterways of all of the Disney boat transportation. And we're so close to the right. And like, I know they have more than enough room, but I like, I'm over here thinking, are we getting too close to the right? Yeah, and he was saying how people get there, they get stuff stuck in the motor. Yeah. He said there's a lot of seaweed, so you can get your engine stuck. Say hi to the people. Hi. You can also put this down if you want. It's electric. And there's a button. It's, it's electric. electric. <laughs> <laughs> there's a button over near Matt. On the driver's side, there's a button right over there. So you can put the cover down if you want. 98 degrees today, so we won't be putting the cover down. <laughs> but you can if you want to. If you didn't yet, you should go check out our Wilderness Lodge vlog. We talk a lot about the cabins. These are those cabins. You could rent this boat and stay at the cabin and ride right by your room. Just park it right up on the grass. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> We're passing through another no wake zone. It's a lot of no wake zones in between the two main lakes, Bay Lake and Seven Seas Lagoon. So I think we're heading over to Bay Lake. This one's scary because it does feel a little tight, especially that boat that just passed us was pretty big. So yeah, we're going slow and hopefully we don't get too far to the right and mess up the motor, but. There's also like Lake Patrol driving around on their boats. So they literally said if something goes wrong, to wave your hands and they'll come after you. If you get stuck, there are people to come help you. That's a cool view. There's a monorail. So this is one of the tight canals that takes you between Seven Seas Lagoon and Bay Lake. So there's the contemporary over there. We're gonna go really slow through this. Thankfully, there's no big boats coming. I was gonna say, we got really lucky. You can see a ferry straight ahead. These little canals are not where the giant ferry that takes you from Transportation Ticket Center to Magic Kingdom, they don't go through this, but there are the smaller vessels that take you to the resorts. Let's hope the whole way through none of them try to come because that's not fun. But see right ahead where the signs are, that's actually where the road is. So you'll see traffic dip down below this. So we're actually driving over cars, which is pretty cool. At least I find it cool. I find it cool too. Whoa, that's oh, there's the cruise patrol. Oh in. gosh, he's whipping it. Jeez. So those are the cruise patrol that you stand up and wave your hands if you're stuck or if there's seaweed in your engine or anything like that. They go very fast, but they probably have places to be people to help, you know? Right that's over cool. to the right is Cinderella's castle right on Main Street. And you can even see Astro Orbiter. We're heading through a no wake zone. See how the road just disappears? <laughs> That's a main road. And this is actually a water bridge that was created so that you can go over the road. So the ferries take you directly over the road and you drive under that tunnel and you're driving under a bridge. So now there's one of the big ferries going by. There's somebody else that rented a pontoon boat. There's the huge ferries that take you to Magic Kingdom going by. There's the bus station. Right behind him is the train station and Magic Kingdom. That's the only thing, there's a lot of boating traffic that you have to be aware of.
We've made it over towards Grand Floridian. There's monorails going by. Ooh, double monorail. There's a lot of waves going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> we are cutting Ooh. right through them. So. A lot of boats just passed by, so the wake is... <laughs> Look at Grand Floridian. We're so close to it. That's cool. Let's go check out the new construction at Polly. We drive past our uh, bungalow that we had. We're passing Grand Floridian and we're heading over to the Polynesian now. I'm gonna go slower in this area because there's a lot of boats going on. But you can drive right past the bungalows. We're gonna turn around and go back towards Magic Kingdom. One thing to note is that time goes very fast on this, especially because it only goes five miles an hour. So we are already over our 30 minutes that we had planned for. So uh, just keep that in mind. So it's pretty cool out there in the distance. Oh, oh, <laughs> out there in the distance is the castle. You can see it all from here. <laughs> It's so nice though. Honestly, I never thought all the years growing up that I would be able to drive right past Grand Floridian all the way up to the train station and see everything at Magic Kingdom. Whoa, here we go. <laughs> Ooh, whoa. There's a lot of weight going on from all the boats passing by. Yeah, pretty cool though. We definitely are gonna make our way back because it's $45 for 30 minutes and $90 for 60 minutes. So and we're closer to an hour now. Yeah. Ruh row. Time goes by fast. We haven't even seen the whole lake. We've gone about halfway and we it's been about an hour. So very cool. Double monorail. I like too the, the chair I'm sitting in swivels. It's pretty nice. It's pretty cushiony. I had to slow down because that boat's going by. And they go faster, so I'll let them go. Hi people on the boat. Also, you don't have to just rent the boat here. You could also get it at Beach Club and other locations. So if you want, leave a comment that says boat. If we get 100 comments, we will go rent one at Beach Club and drive it around. Go comment boat down below. We'll rent one at every Disney resort and we'll vlog it. We'll take you guys with us. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe. Every subscriber equals one cookie for Casey. So if you want me to give Casey a cookie, go subscribe. I really like cookies. Beautiful. There's a nice breeze, even though it's like 85,000 degrees out. So you really don't feel the heat with this thing on and the breeze. Like it's actually really nice. It is nice. We are going in circles. Oh God. <laughs> That's Magic Kingdom. That's pretty cool. So we've made it to a no wake zone. We're gonna head back to the Contemporary, back to the Contemporary and return our boat. It's been about an hour now. Monorail. It's cool to see the buses in the back while you're in a boat. It's like, what? <laughs> it's a little jarring. We're sharing the same road and everything. Yeah. Contemporary's looking beautiful as always. It's where we started our day, which is pretty cool. You can rent the boats and go fishing, and you do that for the whole day. But you're not allowed to go fishing off of these specific pontoon boats. You can only go fishing on the specific fishing boats that you can rent. The best part is we're going to watch Casey Park. Do you want to do that? No, I think it's good for the content we see you do. It's your channel, your parking, right? But here we are, back where we started. Any final thoughts? This was fun. This is really cool. If you have a bunch of people, you can split it and spend all day out here if you want it. There's a lunch table, so you can come have a whole picnic out here in the open Disney water. You can take it out all day. They're open from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. So you can take it out all day if you really wanted to. Yeah, and you got your speaker. Obviously, we didn't really use that because we're filming, but you got a whole bunch of seats. It's a, it's a nice sized boat. Definitely not tight at all. You got your cover over here, which is cool. So uh, no complaints. You could sunbathe if you wanted. Just hang out. $90 an hour sunbathing. At least you're sunbathing. 
better than working. True. This is where Casey now has to very carefully maneuver and park. <laughs> I'm not scared at all. No, she's got this. She's in her boat attire. What is boat attire? Um, it's the same as my golf attire. True. We should go golfing. I got my waterproof shoes on, so nothing's going to uh, ruin my day. He's ready. Comment down below if you want us to go golfing on Disney property. Comment golf. All right, this is it. Oh God. Casey gonna try her very best to not crash as she does it's under my name so it's gonna be okay yeah they were like who's responsible for the boat today and i was like matt and then matt was like you can drive i'm like that's fine you signed for the yeah, boat i should have <laughs> thought that through but what are you gonna do i'm terrified i don't know how to do this hello i'll get there eventually yeah definitely don't take it too fast like i would i would just like <laughs> Turn so quick. Like. I know. I can't be the only person that this has happened to. Me. I'll bring this a little closer for you. Thank you. Oh, goodness. Thank you. So we just got off the boat. After you get off the boat, you head over to the boat nook. You sign your papers. They tell you how long you were on the boat. We were on it for 55 minutes, so it was $83. You do get a 15% off discount if you are an annual pass holder or a DVC member, so that helped a lot. Our total ended up being $74, and we were out there for 55 minutes exactly. The timer starts once you leave the marina. They do not count the time that it takes for the safety procedures, all that, the whole spiel at the beginning. That takes about 15, 20 minutes, but that does not cut into your time. It was a great experience. Comment boat down below if you want us to try this at the Epcot resorts because that would be cool to see the different scenery. You can't have up to 10 people on the boat. So if you go with 10 people and you come out for a few hours and you split the cost, it's a great fun activity and you get to see the resorts from different areas that you don't normally get to see them from just walking through the resorts. Yeah, and be sure to subscribe because if you subscribe, Casey gets a cookie and she likes cookies. I like cookies. <laughs> but comment down below if you enjoyed this. Make sure you subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!